Um, what I'd like to do is thank you very much for taking the time. Our readers love all this stuff, and it's a lot of work for us, but I think now we finally got the results. They're going to be very pleased. This all started, it was Darcy Knowles' idea. I've got to give him credit. We'd had a long night drinking, and uh, he said, look, we've interviewed General Hillier. So that's Hillier. where your best ideas come from. Most of them, absolutely. And he says, why is it General Hillier doesn't have a nickname? Like a lot of these great generals in the past, Stonewall Jackson, you know, Alexander the Great, that kind of thing. And we couldn't figure it out. But he asked, he said, how is this process? How do these generals get named? And we said to him, well, it was usually historians would bestow that upon them. And then more recently, it's been journalists covering a certain war. Some guy says, look, that guy's sitting in the bunker too long. Let's call him Dugout Doug. And then the name sticks, and that's what he becomes known as. So Darcy was fascinated with this. And he thought, we should go out. And it was, became his destiny to find your name. And we could have just named you something. Hell yeah, whatever. And this ran with it until it became a fact. But democracy is a tenet and foundation of, of this country. And that's what we realized. And Darcy said, we've got to put this out to the people. The soldiers have got to have a say in this. We defend democracy. We should practice democracy. So eight months ago, we put this out. Small article. Took root. It was in the humor section of all things. Yes. Newell Dernbrook wrote up a little piece. And the people started coming in, phoning in, writing in. We got overwhelmed. The staff at one point were going to mutiny. I swear to God, there was so much unpaid overtime, it was unbelievable. And then we got negotiated. We said, look, it's short-term labor is going to be worth it. We're writing a piece of history here, right? And they understood that, that and a case of beer, and they all decided to go back to work. So in the end, when the results were in, we gave what we had to independent accounting firm of business finance associates. And we have today with us Mr. Larry Johnson, the corporate vice president of business finance associates. Do you have the results, Mr. Johnson? I do. Would you mind bringing them forward and presenting them to the general? Well, I am a little worried about this democratic process because, as you know, in uniform, we defend democracy. We don't practice it. No, we, we practice it, though, in this case. And you will respect it, correct, General? I've got it. General, I don't need you to certify that, indeed, uh, the contents of this sealed envelope humble. is sealed. Signature? May I have a signature, please? I actually have a pen here for you. Ali is my witness. We need an independent witness. Now, we need you to uh, break the seal and then hand the envelope back to Mr. Johnson. Just break the seal. You can't open the envelopes. Okay. All yours. <laughs> you can feel it. The tension. Oh, I'm, I'm with you, General. After an extensive public voting procedure conducted in accordance with the statutes of the International Gaming and Lottery Association, between the period of the 1st day of March and the 31st day of August 2007, Esprit de Corps Canadian Military Magazine, in conjunction with Business Finance Associates, hereby declares that General Rick J. Hillier has been awarded the moniker of the Big Cod. Wow, congratulations. Well, congratulations, sir. That was a front runner. I think, you know, let me, let me just tell you that uh, probably I'm named that. Actually, could have oh. been just the Cod because Actually, I'm obviously the only one still in existence in this case, right, based on the fishery having disappeared. We have an explanation for the name. I think Darcy Knoll is going to be so kind as to read out yes, what Darcy. the name was. Thank you. Now, do we know who suggested this name? <coughs> it's uh, a democratic process and it's right? confidential. It's actually, actually this one. will be explained. Um, first of all, the big god, origins of a name. I'd like to start with the letter. Um, it goes, after meeting him, I will keep this simple. The big cod. The big cod has landed. One hell of a big fish. We are lucky and proud to have him. Letter to Esprit de Corps, May 2007. This is what got the ball rolling. Now, <clears throat> according to folklore, the big cod is the catch of a lifetime. The one fish that you don't throw back. It is a legend of an underwater creature, one whose stature and myth is only surpassed by its prominence in reality. Now, no one really knows for sure where the story of the big god be began. Some say it came from a fisherman from Petty Harbor, Newfoundland, who was hard on his luck and made it big after catching a massive beast from the Atlantic. While others believe the big god is not a fish at all, but a dream, a goal, a legend. It should be noted that Chuck Norris is rumored to have once encountered and fought a big cod in the Indian Ocean. The fight ended in an inconclusive draw, but the power of that awesome struggle is believed to have caused the 2004 tsunami. Regardless of its origins, there is no doubt to who deserves this title today. After months of discussion and deliberation, the readers of Esprit de Corps have deemed General Rick Hillier is indeed none other than Canada's very own Big Cod. Oh. 
Well, Darcy, thank you very much. You know, uh, thank you. Uh, I think I met one of the guys. If you said there were more than one entry, uh, there was more than one entry of, of this one. Uh, I was at a uh, parade in Afghanistan where I awarded a young soldier a, a CDS's coin for some great work he had done. He happened to be a Newfoundlander, and as he came up, I gave him the coin and shook his hand. He whispered in my ear, I'm going to put in the Big Cod as your nickname. So perhaps that's where it came from. He was and therefore, I accept it. Okay, thank you very much. No, nope, I thank more. you. We have to exchange your ID tags. And if you be so kind as to open the box. Sure, I will. Oh, look at this. The Big Cod, of course. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you very much. If you put those on, General, and we'll give you your certificates. And we'll get one last In fact, I will put them on. I'll lay that down there. There you go. I will put them on with my uniform. Yeah. Mr. Taylor, would you mind uh, signing this to, to uh, okay. ensure its endorsement? Oh, it, makes it makes it legal now that he's accepted. Okay. Then I have to find the appropriate place for this, obviously. Oh, I'm sure you will, General. And our audience will be delighted. There we go. Right on. Well, thank you very much, there, General. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, General. And Scott, you thank can. you very much also. I can call you the big cut. You can. You can indeed. <laughs> thank you. So I don't want to go without my certificate now. We'll get them put away for you, General. We'll get those tucked away. How come one shot is never enough? Because <laughs> you just I've been around you, ladies and gentlemen, long enough to know that. Okay, I'm going to have right. to run, unfortunately. Thank you very uh, much, Thank sir. you. Thank Our you. readers appreciate it. Believe me. Thank you, sir. You get